Hey gang, Scott here. A few weeks back, I talked about On One Photo Raw 2022 and working with it in Lightroom, how we can kind of make it work as a, a plugin or really more of an external editor. Well, since then, On One has updated their plugins for 2022. They've got a new series of plugins there. So for a uh, true proper plugin workflow, we have that now with Lightroom. And one of the questions we weren't quite sure of the answer was, what about layers? Well, we have layers as an offering because a, a very you know, common uh, workflow uh, that a lot of us have gotten accustomed to is you're working in Lightroom and then you move on over into effects. And sometimes you want to do layering work there because the masking tools are convenient. They're easy to use in on one effects. And well, the answer is yes, we can do that. And I'm going to show you how it works right here with on one effects 2022 running as a plugin in Lightroom. I am in Lightroom and I have these two photos that I want to blend with layers and I like the masking controls. I have it on one effects. There's also some effects I want to add to it. And with the 2022 plugin for on one effects, I can do this from Lightroom. First, I'll select both of these photos. I've already installed on one effects 2022 and in plugin extras, we now have this option open as layers. So part of the effects 2022 plugin, we can either send single images or we can send a set of images and open them as layers. And that's what I'm going to do right here. Open these as layers in on one effects. I get the choice of how do I want to edit this? What format? I like smart photo PSD. I've talked about that before and why that's cool. So check the video out on that link is in the show notes. And then I land over in effects and we can see I have two photos here the two that I selected in Lightroom. I have this one on the bottom, which I like, but uh, this one on the top has some accent in the foreground I would like to bring in. And so now I have my ability to do my masking, all my layered workflow. So in here, I'll invert this mask. I will grab a masking brush. I will change this to paint in full opacity. And just for illustrative purposes, let's paint in and bring in some of that accent water that was on that foreground rock there, something like that, and call that good like that. Okay. And once I've done my blending, I still have the ability to create stamp layers. I can add my effects filters, all those things that we're used to in effects. And that's exactly what we'll do here. I'll go ahead and right click, create a new stamp layer. So that will combine both of these photos into a single layer with all of those pixels together. There it is on the top. And now if I make these other ones invisible, uh, they don't matter because they're being all hidden by this top photo, which is my composite. And from here I can do other work. I can add, let's say dynamic contrast. And uh, a way I like to apply that for seascapes is to use a luminosity mask inverted. And at that stage might actually, uh, let's go surreal and then back off the strength. I'll move on to color. Let's add a color adjustment and desert and dial back the strength on that. So that looks good. And maybe added a vignette just to finish things off here for the, the style. Maybe strong looks good. We'll take the feather down so I can reposition that vignette to be right over there. That looks good. Push the feather back up. You've seen other videos I've done on vignettes and tools. Now the foreground still feels a little dark. Well, I have access to the local controls, right? We have our local still here in effects. Let's grab locals. And in this case, I want to use a lighten mode. Let me collapse our layers. So we have a little more real estate here. Lighten mode, because I want to brighten up that uh, foreground. We can use, actually, I only want to really brighten up the whitewash. So let's do this. We'll add a luminosity mask because I love the masking tools I've got here in uh, effects. This linear top looks great. So now I'm only applying this to the bottom here. If I view that mask, you can see this is very intricate. And I have my controls here to say, just hit those uh, brighter parts there. Just that ocean, right? Fade that out a little bit like that, turn off my view. And now we can see I am just really working on that whitewash, bringing that up a little bit, maybe even take out some of the saturation of it so it's even brighter white. You get the idea here. Once I'm all finished with this, done all my styling, all my masking, all my editing, hit the done button. It sends this composite photo 
back on over to Lightroom and it's in my catalog for good. And there we go. So that is a layered workflow with Lightroom and On One Effects. So if you are like me, you like the tools that we have in On One Effects, the filters, you like the masking tools because they're easy to work with and they're powerful, well, we still have a layered workflow if you're a plugin user for Lightroom. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got any other questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.